of Ohio's greatest attractions are right here on Lake Erie Shores and Islands, and that includes the Jet Express. This region is a major contributor to the $44 billion growing tourism industry. I think you just heard Larry say $2.1 billion of that comes from this area, the Lake Erie Shores and Islands. And also the Lake Erie Shores and Islands Thrill Trail, where we're encouraging people to ride on the roller coasters of Cedar Point, go to the top of Perry's Monument, the third largest man-made monument in the United States, and, of course, ride on the Jet Express. And this year, you'll see us continue to promote the entire Lake Erie Shores and Islands region in our statewide program. This year, a lot of them focus on Ohio road trips. We launched 10 perfect road trips at Ohio.org, and ones like the Scenic Group Outdoor Road Trip features the Lake Erie Shores and Islands, and our Rock, Ride, and Explore features attractions in this area as well. Telling the story of the gem that we have that is Lake Erie and the world-class attractions that we have there. And that's why we'll continue to see in the statewide marketing for Ohio, Ohio finding here will continue to include Lake Erie Shores and Islands and the Jet Express. Thanks for having me here today. Can't wait to ride this great boat. flat surfaces and all the angles the same this angle of uh, this face angle hanging down is always a hundred and four degree angle we used to have a little stick down here to, to prove to people that you know that angle is all the same so you saw the small celestite crystals upstairs in, the, in that one small geo well if you yank one of those crystals out that will have 14 flat surfaces and all the angles the same just like these <clears throat> this is how crystals form. All the molecules arrange themselves exactly the same way. The crystals were formed, uh, uh, geologists have a theory, when the glacier moved through the area about 40 or 50,000 years ago, uh, the, the glacier brought this strontium solution into the area. It was under great heat and pressure, so it was in a solution at one time. It became trapped in this opening. There's a lot of caves on putting bed. Yeah, bed down to the 12 spigots. When we're operating this, which we did yesterday, Katana Grape Juice, Sweet Bell, we'll probably bottle, maybe Sunday. Uh, we had somebody feeding the machine with empty bottles. They're filled up here, they rotate around. Right now it's set up for caps because we bottled grape juice yesterday. The caps are dumped into the hopper, they come down the chute. Uh, uh, this is a, called a threader that will spin. And, and then uh, thread the cap onto the bottle. With this machine, we can also put a cork in it. The cork's on the opposite side. We just loosen bolts, rotate this 180 degrees. We have a corker here. So after this machine, we either have a uh, cork in the bottle, like this one here, the sliced wine bottle, or we have a cap in it, like this sweet concord here. Okay? Then we do the labeling over here. We shall. Who's going to demonstrate this one? Well, we put the bottle in this machine. Uh, first thing that happens is uh, the capsule travels through a heat tunnel there, that silver looking cone. That heat will shrink this capsule around the neck to form an airtight seal. And then a label is rolled on. You can see it's set up for Catawba grape juice right now. Uh, what we bottled yesterday could be pretty low on it. And then a label is rolled onto the bottle and case. 